in this video, um, you know, whether you're building a PBN or building out a website using an expired domain name, part of that process that I feel is really important is repurposing the things that you can get from the Wayback Machine. And I'm always asked these questions, what's the step-by-step -step process? What do you do? How do you find the old URLs? What URLs do you put up? I'm going to show you exactly what I would do. Now, I'm going to use an age domain from ODYS as an example. This age domain name is available now on ODYS if you did like it, which is logotox.com. Now, for example, if I was to grab an expired domain name or I was to buy logotox.com for $1,600 from ODYS, I can either build a PBN, a money website, whatever you want to call it, it's entirely up to you. Now, the first thing I'd be doing <coughs> is going to the Wayback Machine, and I'm going to just go back to, say, 2017, and I'm just going to grab this snapshot here. You can go to any of these snapshots. They, they literally have a few hundred snapshots, and I can see what was on the Logotox website, what it looked like, the content that's there and everything else. Now, that's quite easy for me to go and grab what I need to grab. Um, now, you can do that. Now, you can also look at the backlink profile of Logo Talks. Now, we can see the refer... Uh, wait a minute, I'll just go to the backlink profile. Backlinks. And we can see the URLs that have backlinks pointing to them. Those are the most important URLs that you need to recreate. So that is linking to that, and we want that exact URL to be repopulated on Logo Talks. Why? Well, we want to revive the power of that link. That's a DR72 pointing to our website. Now, it's dead just now, but we want to revive that and we want to revive as much of the good stuff as we possibly can. And from here, as you can see, people are linking to internal pages on this website. It was an informational website. People have linked to a whole bunch, 204 of them, all linking to all different URLs. So one, you can grab the URL from the backlink profile using a tool like Ahrefs, SEMrush or whatever, or two, go to the Wayback Machine and you can grab the URLs yourself. Now, <coughs> we can basically click on this and it will give us the URL of that particular blog post, which was done on the 30th of August, 2012. And it's just talking about Microsoft's new logo that they've introduced after 25 years. When that loads up, we could basically copy and paste that content put that on the new URL that we've got, and we can also put that picture up. So it's very simple and very easy to do this on WordPress. All you need to do is go through the Wayback Machine and grab as much as you possibly can from the Wayback Machine in terms of content, in terms of anything else that you want to take. Now, people say, what URL should I go do? What if there's thousands of URLs? Now, of course, the most important ones are the ones that are being linked to. I want to revive all that link juice. So those are the first things that you want to be grabbing. Secondly, I want to look at, historically, what that Logo Talks website ranked for. And I would want to revive the pages that that did rank for. So we can go to organic search and we can go to all time. Now we can go back and we can see back in 2017, this website ranked for all sorts of stuff uh, back then. Now what we want to do is find out what those top pages were. Now we can do that um, by going back to 2017. Um, 
I'm just going to go back. I think it was August or September. In fact, I need to upgrade to get that data. I don't have the historic data on Ahrefs. But you can go to Ahrefs and you can see the URLs that were getting traffic that did rank for keywords. And that is essentially what you want to do. So they do have a powerful historic index and you can sort through that data and grab the URLs that you need to grab that are important, that we're ranking, and you can basically let the rest of the garbage go. There is no point in populating a post that never did that well anyway. I don't see any value in it, unless there was links to it. From there, you're going to repurpose this website. It doesn't have to have the same template. You're going to try and revive the link power and any keywords that it was ranking for. You can then add to that, build it out even more, or, once you revive that power, then you're in a position where you can redirect from here to the money website um, that you want to link to if you were going to do that. But why would you want to do that? You want to build an asset. You want to monetize this expired or aged domain name and you want to make money with it. At times, people will do 301 redirects. This process is still the same you build the power and then do the redirect. There is no point in redirecting something that's all broken and the links are not revived and everything else. So that is how simple and easy it is to revive an expired domain name. Simple and easy, Wayback Machine, Ahrefs, whatever, reverse engineer a few things, job done.